Hey, this is South Corn. I'm going to be playing Software Inc. today. So, uh, I think I'd just do a playthrough. I played it a couple times, but I figured I'd make a video on it and maybe give some advice along the way. Cause I know it, it's a game with a bit of a learning curve. So, I've already started uh, with the characters being made. I only chose two, just uh, I, it's probably best to play one, but I know it's having multiple characters is a relatively new feature, so I figured I utilize it. And so one of my characters, he's more of a creative one. So I selected visionary all the way. His skill levels are pretty equal all, all along. And then for what I chose his specialization to be, uh, I did mainly system 2D. And then leader, mainly did socialization, tasking just because I like, I feel like the benefits they provide are most useful. Automation probably don't use until later in the game. And then service, just went into support. And then other character, she's much more of a do-it-all. I just had her creativity be ordinary, but you know, she has much higher skill levels. It's pretty similar in what skills I chose out. And support and leadership, I think it's the exact same. And their traits, you know, I chose these. I feel like they're pretty salt ones. And I chose these for him. And then for, for difficulty, gun hard. Uh, I don't... I, I, I've always done two days per month, but honestly, it's one of those things that doesn't affect the game much. It's just how I've always enjoyed it, so that's what I do. So let me go ahead and pick a map, and we'll get started. Okay, just loaded in. So pause the game. I'll show you guys the place. I did not mean to click that. Okay, I'll show you. I picked out it's this relatively large building will be renting out. It has room to expand on later distribution spaces. I think it's three or four floors, so quite a bit of space if I want to rent it out later. But these are the two rooms we start out with, and I like it just because I think one of our guys has uh, the visionary traits, so. He'll want his own office, so this gives this could be his own office, and then this will be the rest of the team's office, which for now it's just going to be uh, two people, but it'll be good for later on. So we'll go ahead and start building, and I should warn you ahead of time, I, I do enjoy making my spaces look nice and be aesthetically pleasing, so I may spend a bit of time sprucing it up, so... For warning, in case you want to skip ahead. So, to start off, this will be our Mar Mark's office, our visionary character. We'll get him a computer. And I should say I have a couple mods installed, so... There's a good, you know, just uh, make the place look nicer, so... Put one of those... Maybe we'll get him a planet. A oh, plant. Ah, can't speak. Plant. Um, for now, since we're doing hard, we have a pretty small budget, so we'll leave these rooms bare for now. But later on, I'm sure I'll want to make these look nicer. So, um, otherwise, we'll just stick in. That's right there. Okay, chair, maybe since we're on such a tight budget, I shouldn't have chosen these nice chairs, but whatever. We'll survive. And then computer again. Okay, we'll get her a nice flower, a little thing to put on the desk. And we'll maybe put like. Clock near door, and uh, we'll get since he's like a he's gonna be our lead designer. We'll get him one of those, and Margaret she'll be mainly programming, so we'll get her that. 
Here we have a, we'll get one of these too. We have a little bit more budget, so. We'll save the rest for now though. Uh, also, uh, whatever. Yeah, this building. Sorry, okay. So I think that's the one for building. I think we're all ready to start. So I'll let the thing pause before we skip to morning. Um, Generally what I start out by doing to get some money before I start developing games is to do some logistics contracts and so or you know sometimes I do embedded um, systems and stuff but these contract works are pretty good and my, my two people they mainly have designer and programming skill they do have a little artistry but so we're looking for these ones where it's just recommended designer programmers one nothing for artists. So this one looks nice. Um, we want to sign lead designer. If you do that, then it usually ends up, my experience, like it'll drain their creativity. So I think this is good for now. We'll accept work. And I think we're good to unpause. So our people should be coming in. There they are. Of course, they end up choosing the opposite desk. I intend for them. Let me fix this. Mark one. Yeah, mark your black. There we go. Since these are pretty, I think the the quality that is required on these is pretty low. So we'll just go one well, one cycle of design. That should be enough code. Let them bug. I'll start getting another contract loaded up. This will basically we'll do some of these for a month or two, and then that should get us enough money. Yeah, we'll do this embedded system. Wait, uh, yeah, we'll do that. Okay, that should be good. Let's see. Yep, outstanding quality, so that gets us some cash flow going in. We'll keep doing those. I don't think we'll get done with this one today, but we'll see. Code, maybe. Let's try to get... Yeah. They're finished. I'm not going to start another one up just because they're all leaving a couple seconds. So yeah, easy game. Start games pretty easy. You just keep doing these contracts for now until we get enough money built up, and then we'll move on to you know trying to develop some software. Uh, we might we might even be able to get out a third one today. Let's generally don't like to do game assets with because we don't have any good artists but we'll do it it gets we'll get our team some experience in uh, arts so yes okay oh we can just actually we could probably get a fourth one out today okay well lessons learned yeah, we've done all the contract work we can. So once once the new month starts, we should be able to should be able to get some more contracts available. Yeah, so I found it's pretty important to get like a solid cash bank set up. So I try to aim for like a hundred thousand before I start doing development work. So we'll do that for this playthrough. So, do we do contract? Yep, so there's more of these. That looks good. That looks good. And yeah, should all be easy enough. Uh, since they're here, we'll even quickly. Make the office look a bit nicer, so... Uh, ch -ch -ch. Ah, how do I want to do this? I'll actually put... Here. So we can mess with this to 
Get some more options. Okay, oh, where did I just find that out? Here. We'll get a little <laughs> whiteboard so they can brainstorm some ideas, I guess. <laughs> what else? Uh, maybe a plan or something. We got a plan in Mark's office and maybe like a... One of these so they can relax a bit. Um, I think that's everything we might want to do for now, so... Sweet. Actually, real quick, get a nice picture. There we go. Okay, back to these contacts. We'll let them go. So we'll develop that. Develop that. Develop. Promote. Promote. Uh, see what other contacts we have. skipped ahead made about 110,000 from contracts so we'll probably still keep doing it but I think we're at a point where we can start designing some software so let me pull up the tab I think we'll start out with 2d editor it's the one you only need people to be specialized in 2d systems so it's a pretty easy one you can make it usually within a year or two so start with that um, what I normally start off with is uh, putting this in advanced and then I like to check out if there's any good framework that is existing because yeah by choosing it you can shave off a couple of years so one thing you gotta be careful for is making sure the tech level is pretty close to what your max tech level is so here it's 1977 so we're looking for one that's 1977 because if we chose like this one that's in 70 then it will end up causing our software to be quite outdated and it won't it's not worth doing that so yeah those are all 1977 this one's 74 so it's a bit tempting I think we might try it's only 7% so nothing too much and gives quite a lot uh, so we'll do that and we'll basically check everything that it checks. It should be more than enough to get 100% expected in this. Expected interest, but we'll see. Yeah, so we get 100%. So let's skip over to auto balance. So doing that does get us a bunch of waste. Uh, need these. We could get rid of these. But it doesn't really change our development time, so we'll, we'll keep it on. And then next, I'll, I'll just remove this and choose which operating system. So when choosing these, we don't want to, we, for the size of our studio, we probably just want to choose like one or two. And we want to base it off of which ones have the most active users. So like this one and this one are pretty good. We can add on some of these later after we've released it, but we don't want to have too many or else it'll take forever. So yeah, it's already approximately two years, so we'll do that. I think maybe if we, re we might be able to get it to one year if we remove one. I don't remember which one was the longer one. Yeah, so maybe we'll do that. Let me see. This one, when was this released? 76. So, this one's probably going to end up going. So, even though it'll take about two years, I'm going to still keep them both. So, we got those two. 
Okay. Um, so, publisher. So, normally, previously I haven't done this, but I did play through last, my last time playing this, I chose marketing, and actually, it's one of those things, it's one of the things I found out, it's basically impossible to get good marketing on your first time releasing, especially if you're trying to do it yourself, so I found it's best just to get someone to do the marketing for you, and ends up saving you a lot of money not having to have a marketer. Yeah, so we we'll have to keep in mind that we have to get it done by November. Which I think should be doable. Everything else there should be fine. That's auto balanced. That looks good. We don't have anything for that. Nice thing about if you don't touch the price before you do anything, it'll automatically give you like a reasonable price. We'll just keep it slightly. We'll do 7532. Why not? And for the name, we'll do styled to the editor. Keep it simple for now. I think that should be good. Okay. Give a quick check. I think that all looks good. So I think we're ready to develop it. It says we don't have as many programmers. Once we get to, once we finish the design stage, I think we'll probably hire another programmer just to speed along the progress. But I think for now we'll be good. Yeah, don't do that. Okay. Let's start development. Yep. Okay. So we'll skip ahead. There we go, our people coming. So for now, we'll give them like a day or two of just straight up design. Then we'll start getting back to doing some contract work to, you know, pay the bills. But be good for now. Look at our thing, so we get a good amount done. And skip ahead. So probably skip ahead till we get a bit more done. Okay. Show you a new day. Should we're about at the point where we can about move into the next iteration, which should be good. I think we'll probably end up doing about three. That should get us like a good or great. I think that'll get us like a great quality. If everything else is fine, so um, we'll probably have to start doing contract work soon, just because we are starting to slowly lose money, but we're good for now. Well, we should probably look ahead. So, hopefully we should get our design work somewhere done around December by then. That would that would be nice if we could do that. But and then we start uh, the next phase of programming and art stuff. Probably get that done maybe around August or July. It would be nice. It gives us a couple months to debug and then. Looking around, I don't see any other 2D editors coming out, which, or at least uh, it's been announced to be around when we're releasing ours, so that's good news. There's one the next year, but that means when we release ours, we shouldn't have really much competition if it stays like this, which would be nice. Um, but otherwise, uh, I feel like this is a good point to wrap up the video. Well, next one will probably be hopefully finishing the design moving on to the coding and stuff but otherwise uh, thank you guys for watching um, this is my first YouTube video so any comments or feedback you have I'd love to hear it I'm <laughs> quite confident there's plenty I can do better so
Otherwise, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next video.